So iMessage has gotten so many improvements within iOS 18, and I wanted to kind of hit on some of my favorite new changes and tricks and tips within iOS 18 for iMessage that you should definitely take advantage of. Now, number one, my favorite new feature within iMessage that I'm so happy to see is send later. So this option, what it allows you to do is it allows you to go ahead and send messages later, like you can schedule your messages. So here, if you're on an iMessage, I think with RCS and text messages as well, you can do this. At least with iMessage, if you go and start sending somebody a text, right? So let's say I wanted to send this message for some reason, you know, at somebody at a certain time. But what you can do is you can click on the plus button next to the message. So tap on here. You can find this new send later option, which is right here. And what you can do is you can schedule when this specific text message is going to be sent. So you can send it today. You can send it all the way. I don't know. You could just keep sending it like for as far as you want to, which is crazy. And you can specific, you know, specify the time, the all this other stuff. So that is an option that you basically have now. And that is genuinely so cool. We never had this message option before. But now we actually have it on our devices. And it is a super cool thing that we have the capability of doing. So this in and of itself is such a cool feature that we have. On top of that, another big thing that we have now too is the ability of having our new tap backs, but not only having tap backs, but customizing the tap backs that we have. So if I go and zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to see that if we go and click on a particular iMessage, right? So if I go and hold down on an iMessage, before you could just choose a specified like amount of iMessages that you could choose from. Now on iOS 18, we have the capability of choosing this little emoji icon right here, tapping on it, and we can choose any emoji that we want. So if I want to go and send this emoji like to this person, whichever way I want to, well, I can do that and it's completely customized. So that is another super cool thing. And the emojis now look a lot nicer, or at least the tap backs look a lot nicer. So that in and of itself is another very cool thing that we have. Now, on top of that, another very big thing we have with an iMessage is now RCS messaging support. So for messaging people who have, you know, devices outside of iPhones, what we can do now is we can go through and basically have RCS messaging, which is kind of like iMessage for Androids. So now we have it on iPhones and on Androids now too. So what we can do is we can make our way over to our settings application right here, right? So get into our settings. You then want to go and scroll down until you see your apps panel at the very bottom. And then you want to go and scroll down one more time until you find messages. So scroll down to messages right here. And then there should be a little option somewhere that says something like not only send us text message, but show like RCS messaging down here too. So if there is something that says like, you know, RCS or something, you can find that option and go and add it. And that's another thing you can do as well, which is another really, really cool thing. Now on top of that, within iMessage itself, if we go back into here, the other thing that we've had before is deleting and recovering iMessages. This is a feature that we've had since I think iOS 16, but I wanna showcase it again because it is a really important feature that some people may not even know about. So let's say I'm going through and I accidentally delete an iMessage. So let's say I go through and I delete this particular message, and let's say I wanted to go ahead and recover that message. Well, what I can do now is, well, what we could have done for a while, is go ahead and click on the edit button in the top left corner, and then you'll see a little option that says show recently deleted. What we can do is we can go and click on show recently deleted, and we'll be able to see those messages right there. So what we can do now is we can basically just find the specific message that we want to go ahead and change, so in this case, what we can do is I can go and you know click on this message right here and I can go and click on recover and that will allow me to recover that particular message. So that is something else that's really cool now that we have within, you know, we've had for the last couple versions of iOS, but now we have it again, basically on iOS 18, which is really cool. And finally, another really cool feature within iOS 18 that we have now is the capability of basically having satellite texting. So if our phone support it, I don't think all of them, I think that's like the iPhone 14s or above, whichever iPhone supports satellite messaging, you now have the capability if you're in a pinch and if there's no, basically if there's no signal around you or anything like that, your phone will automatically detect it and you can then send a message via satellite if it's an emergency or anything like that. So that is something that's actually very, very cool that we have that type of capability, basically sending out messages via satellite because that'll make our devices, I think personally, so much more reliable just in case we're in the middle of nowhere and you have to send a text, you'll have that type of capability right there built in now. So there's a lot of really cool things within iOS 18. I'm very, very happy about it. 
But those are some of my favorite tricks and tips within iOS 18, specifically for iMessage. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.